Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us healthy body and sound mind. We thank you for another opportunity to learn. Bless us with wisdom to understand our lessons and the joint to learn with our classmates. Bless also our teachers as they impart to us the value of learning. Keep us safe in your loving kindness. This we ask in the mighty and sweet name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Welcome to Science 4 Online Class. I am Teacher Clarifer and I will be your Science 4 teacher. And these are our virtual classroom rules. Be on time. Turn your camera on. Mute your microphone unless it's your turn to speak. Raise your hand if you want to say something. Use hand signals if there is a need to go to the comfort room or drink water. Remain seated unless you are asked to stand. Do not do other tasks while the class is ongoing. Attend online class prepared and participate. If there is weak internet connection, see the lessons and activities posted in your Google Classroom. Let us follow the rules. Did you enjoy the song, kids? Well, the song is all about heat, light, and sound. Yes, you heard it right. And these are the things that we are going to learn today. So kids, are you ready to learn new things today? Great job! Let's explore the amazing world of science! Hi kids! How was your day? Was the song good? Did I sing it right? Well, thank you kids! I do really hope that you liked it. I sang that song because today we will be learning about heat, light, and sound. Are you excited? Great! I am very glad to be with you today and be part of your learning adventure in exploring the wonders of science world. I am Teacher Clarife and I will be journeying with you today for another exciting learning adventure. Are you ready for today's science exploration, kids? Let's go! If you touch a radiator or something hot object, what would you feel? Have you ever thought about what it would be like to live without light? How good are you when it comes to basic knowledge of sound? How it is produced 
and how it travels? Well, these are the questions that you are going to answer as we go along with our lesson for today. Now, let me check if you're all ready. Do you have with you your pen, your notebook, and your learning module? Great! If all are set and ready, let's start our learning adventure. For today's learning adventure, you will be able to describe how heat, light, and sound travel. Specifically, you will learn to define heat, light, and sound. Describe how heat, light, and sound travel. And demonstrate understanding on how heat, light, and sound produce. Can you still recall your previous lesson in Quarter 3, Module 2? Yes, it is about force exerted by magnets. Magnetism is a force all around us. Magnets exert a force of attraction on anything that is made of iron, steel, nickel, or cobalt. Let's go back to the lesson you had in Quarter 3, Module 2 for a short review by finding five different objects that can be found at home. Are you ready, kids? Yeah! Let's go! Wow! We're finally inside the house! Kids, can you help me find five different things inside this house? Yeah! Great! Now, let's first look and find some objects and let's try to identify if it is magnetic or non-magnetic object. Are you ready? Let's begin! Do you see what I see, kids? Good job! Yes, it is a spoon. Is it magnetic or non-magnetic? Correct! A spoon is magnetic object. How about the second object? Yes, it is a pencil. And what do you think a pencil is? Excellent! A pencil is non-magnetic object. How about this one? What do you think is this? Yes, correct! It is a book. Is it magnetic or non-magnetic object? Correct! Book is non-magnetic object. How about this one? What do you think is this? Good job! It is a coin. And what do you think a coin is? Is it magnetic or non-magnetic? Perfect! A coin is a magnetic object. Oh, I guess there's only one object left. What do you think is this? Yes! It is a nail. Is it magnetic or non-magnetic object? Great job, kids! A nail is a magnetic object. Thank you for your quick responses, kids. It only proves that you really learned a lot from your previous lesson. Keep it up! Did you enjoy our hunting activity, kids? Yeah! Me too. I am happy to know that you learned a lot from your previous lesson. So what are we waiting for? Come on! Join me as we enter the world of science exploration. What comes into your mind when you see these words? Heat, light, and sound. Are they important to us? Do you know what they mean? Well, let's try to check if you do have prior knowledge about our lesson for today by answering this activity. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's begin! Now we will test if you do have prior knowledge about our lesson for today by answering this fun activity I prepared in Nearpod website and app-based digital educational platform. Are you ready, kids? Yeah! This is the link for the activity. Please click this link and when you are already in, 
Please use your complete name as your username and your section as your nickname. Ready? I will open the activity in 3, 2, 1. Were you able to answer the activity? Yeah! That's great! I'm pretty sure that you are now ready for our exciting learning adventure. What kind of place is this? Do you know where am I now? Yes, you're right. I'm in the middle of a desert. It's really hot here. I'm so thirsty. I need water. Help! Somebody! Oh, there's a shiny thing over there. Let me check it. Oh, it is just a shiny rock. Ouch! Ouch! It's too hot! I guess I'm gonna stay here forever. No! Wait! Let's not waste our time. Let's learn about heat before I collapse. Kids, do you know what is heat? Heat is a thermal energy that transfers from an object with a high temperature to an object with a lower temperature. When an object or substance is heated, the particles of that object are affected. Heat can come from electricity and burning fuels, wood, coal, fertilizer, petroleum, and natural gas are examples of natural fuels. Charcoal, gasoline, kerosene, alcohol, and liquefied gas are examples of artificial fuels. People used heat in many ways. They use heat such as drying things, cooking, drying clothes, and even running plants. In an industry, heat is used to process foods and to melt and mold metals. It makes us feel warm. It also helps in maintaining your body temperature. It enables your heart and lungs to carry on circulation and respiration. When a chemical substance combines with oxygen, the process is called oxidation. Oxidation inside your body produces heat. The reason why our body produces heat and the reason why our body has a warm temperature. It enables your heart and lungs to carry on circulation and respiration. Do you know that heat can move from one object to another in three different ways? Yes, it can travel through conduction, convection, or radiation. Conduction is the direct transfer of heat through matter by direct contact particles. A substance or material that allows heat transfer through it easily is called a conductor. Metals are good conductors of heat. A material that does not conduct heat well is called an insulator. Glass, wood, rubber, plastic, and cloth are good examples of an insulator. 
Convection is the heat transfer in liquids and gases as particles circulate in currents. This transfer of energy causes warm substances to rise and cool once they sink. In heat transfer by convection, the particles in a liquid or gas speed up as they are heated. That causes the particles to move apart when the substances become lighter. As the heated substances rise, the heavier substances move down. These currents exchange heat through this movement. Radiation is the transfer of heat through space in the form of waves. The heat we receive from the fire lays is radiant heat. Radiant heat travels as waves through space. Kids, did you understand now what is heat and how it moves or transfer from one object to another? Yeah! Great! But before we move on to the next topic, Please, can anybody get me out from here? Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? Hello? Yes, teacher Clarify. Don't worry. We will send private jet to get you out from the very hot desert. I can't be there. I am now in the space station. Just wait a minute. Goodbye! Thanks for saving me, computer! Today, we will help the kids learn more about light. Okay, teacher Clarife, let's begin! If you are facing the wall, you cannot see what is on the other side. Light reflected off because it is obstructed by the wall and prohibits you to see what is behind it. When light hits an object surface, it bounces off at different angles and scatters. You will see the object because light has scattered off and entered your eyes. Sometimes, when light hits the object, it is absorbed. The light that is being absorbed is transformed into heat. To understand light further, we must study how it interacts with different objects. Optics is the branch of science that study refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Refraction refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. For example, the pen in a glass of water appears bent because the different parts of the materials interact with light. The parts of the pen that is not dipped in water interact with the water. Light moves faster in the air than in water. This is the reason why the pen looks bent. Reflection is when light bounces off an object. If the surface is smooth and shiny, like glass, water, or polished metal, the light will reflect at the same angle as it hit the surface. Some objects with uneven surfaces reflect light in a scattered way. Absorption refers to materials taking in of light and not reflecting it. When we look at things, the color that we see is the light which reflected from the object. For example, if we look at a red apple, it reflects red and absorbs or takes in all the colors but red. Transmission refers to the passing of light through some materials. For example, when light passed through a glass window, it is transmitted to the other side. Objects that allow the most of the light to pass through them are transparent. Glass and some plastics are transparent. Objects that allow some light to pass through them are translucent. You cannot see objects clearly through this material because they blur the light that passes through them. There are also objects that do not allow light to pass through them, such as concrete walls. These are opaque. Wood, metal, and clay are some examples of opaque objects. So kids, is it clear to you now what is light and how it travels 
so fast that we cannot even use our watches to measure its speed. Amazing, right? Computer, can you bring me back to Earth? I want to teach the kids about sound. Please bring me to MPCAS Pilot TV Studio. Okay, teacher Clarifa. Ready for teleportation! It's so cool here. I can hear different sounds. Oh, I like this one. Let me try pressing it. Oh no, it creates a very loud sound. Ah, oh, no, 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 I don't like it. How about this one? Oh, it's so relaxing. Just so good for my ears. What do you know about sound kids? Sound is like heat and light. It is a form of energy. Sound energy is produced by vibrating objects. When an object vibrates, sound waves are produced. Sound waves can carry vibrations through a medium. This result is the transfer of energy collected in the vibrations. Unlike light, sound needs a medium like gases, solids, or liquids to travel through. The speed at which sound travels depends on the medium. Sound travels faster through most solids and liquids than air. Sound travels fastest in solids because the particles of solids are close to one another. Sounds that are sharp have a high pitch, those that do not have a low pitch. High pitch sounds are produced when the object that makes the sound vibrate very fast. Low pitch sounds are produced when the object that makes the sound vibrate slowly. Some sounds are loud and others are soft. The softness or loudness of a sound is called volume. The loudness of the sound refers to its intensity. Sounds that have high intensity are loud. The sound of thunder, the noise made by a helicopter, and the music from a rock concert are examples of loud sounds. The rustling of leaves and your friend's whispers to you are an example of a soft sound. A sound with high intensity is not the same as a sound with a high pitch. A sound with a low pitch can have high intensity. The intensity of a sound can be measured in decibels. Your ears can be heard by sounds that are louder than 100 decibels. Aside from pitch and loudness, the sound is also characterized by frequency. Frequency is the number of vibrations the source makes or the receiver receives per second. The higher the frequency, the higher is the pitch of the sound produced or received. Did you understand our discussion, kids? Yeah! Great! Now you learn about sounds and how sound waves are produced. Now, let's check if you really understood the discussion by answering this activity. Directions Identify the following illustrations below, whether if it is refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Write your answers on your notebook. You will be given 30 seconds to answer this. And your timer starts now. Time is up! Did you get all the correct answers, kids? Great job! Do you want more? Let's have another one! Directions 
right HI if it is high intensity and LI if it is low intensity of a sound. You will be given 30 seconds to answer this and your timer starts now. Time is up! Let's check your answers. Do you have the same answers with this, kids? Did you enjoy all our activities? Wow! I am glad to know that. If you didn't get the perfect score, it's okay. You still have lots of activities to do and I'm sure you will love answering them. Congratulations, kids! You did a great job by answering all the activities. This time, let's have a short recap of our lesson for today. Sun is the most common and important source of heat. Heat is thermal energy that transfers from objects with high temperature to objects with lower temperature. Heat can transfer through conduction, convection, and radiation. Light travels in a straight line. Transparent objects allow light to pass through. Translucent objects allow some light to pass through. Opaque objects block light. A shadow forms when light is blocked. Sound is produced by the vibration of the particles of an object. Pitch refers to sharpness of a sound. Intensity refers to loudness of sound. The softness or loudness of a sound is called volume. Loud, unpleasant, and disruptive sounds are considered noise. Now kids, are you ready to take the final test? Great! So listen carefully and give your best shot in answering this assessment. Directions. Read the questions carefully and write the letter of the correct answers on your notebook. You are given 5 seconds to answer each item. Let's start! Number 1. All the following are good examples of insulator except... Time is up! What is your answer? Yes, you are right! Number 2. What will happen to a wax when it is placed near on the burning stove? Time is up! What is your answer, kids? Great job! Number 3. The picture shows a pot of water heating on a stove top. Which statement explains what happens to the water in the pot? Is your answer kids amazing you got it right Kids, you all did great job today. Did you enjoy your science exploration? Yeah. Can you differentiate now heat, light, and sound? Yeah. Amazing! I hope you can answer the rest of the activities in your module and hope that you had great time learning with me today. Let's learn more interesting things about science in the next episodes. Once again, I am Teacher Clarifice saying, Exploration is limitless if your mind is adventurous. Here in our science adventure, you can be the best explorer you would ever want of becoming too. All you need to do is believe in yourself and make your dreams come true. 
Before I bid goodbye, let's sing this song once more. Are you ready? I feel the heat, heat, heat right over my skin. Goodbye, have a great day, and keep safe always.